This is an inverter. This is an inverter wiring harness. Thank you for watching. Good night. Always wanted to do that. Well, welcome to another thrilling wire harness episode. On this prequel to the wire harness trilogy, we're going to unravel the mystery of the engine room main wire. Technically, engine bay wiring harness, better known to us as the inverter harness. So I went out and I bought this on eBay and I paid $300 for it. Pretty sure I overpaid, but again, I'm in California. Uh, this harness goes by a couple of different part numbers. Well, as we learned in our other video, they are VIN dependent. They're based on year and features of your Lexus. So this is from the Lexus GS450H hybrid. And um, I will post the part numbers in the description and probably flash them on the screen for you. Now, I already thinned out this wire harness. I didn't make a video of that. I spared you the, um, the pain and agony. So let me show you something. 93% of this we don't need. which leaves us with the other 10% that we do need. And this harness has the coveted inverter plug on it, okay? I'll show you some pictures of it of close up. But basically this is what everyone is after who's doing these conversions because we cannot buy this plug on its own. There's a tiny part number on it, but it doesn't really come up with anything on Google searches. So I'm going to try to keep this video short because it's going to be boring as, boring as hell. But basically there are three key parts to this harness. There's the inverter plug. There's these eight cables wound up over here just to make them neat. The synchronous serial communication. Okay, this is how the inverter talks to our open inverter uh, VCU. And then the third main thing on here are the two resolver plugs that will connect directly into the transmission harness that we went over in the last video. So that's the whole key to this operation, is that we're going to make it as much of it as, uh, as we can plug and play. So I'm just going to plug in the inverter plug into the inverter. Just to show you how that goes. <laughs> and then we have one resolver plug. Now, I already... Uh, crimped and added the plug for the VCU on here. I will cover that maybe in another video, maybe just in my uh, uh, write-up, my, my build thread. But um, basically the four cables which have two wires or a pair of wires in each for a total of eight wires, four cables, 
this is sort of the communication superhighway. This is how we send signals to the inverter to tell the motors what to do. So these are the most important ones. The brown wires on here don't go anywhere. They sort of loop back on themselves and they go to the inverter plug and they act as grounds for the shielding that's in this uh, in these cables. This is why I wanted to buy this harness because I don't I didn't think I can pull off making it from scratch. The the sort of yellow and brown uh, wires here are for our Hall Effect BMW E46 throttle. But you can use any type of uh, electronic throttle Hall Effect. Um, this, this system will only use one of the two channels, I believe, but any throttle that you like, that you already have, or you want to go out there and get, I pretty much just take the path of least resistance, and I think Damien McGuire uses the E46 or the um, E60. Now, I know nothing about BMWs. I'm, I'm not really a, a fanboy, and so uh, I just am copying him just to keep things simple, and I know they will work because he's, he's used one. Then we have black for ground to the VCU and red for uh, power, currently with alligator clips just for testing. Then we have on here, there's a pair of white wires with black stripe. That's just for your uh, inverter ground. And another thing why it's nice to get the, um, the actual factory harness is because the power cables for the inverter, these two blue ones, actually run through one of the um, resolver connectors. I didn't know that until I bought it. So MG2 resolver, instead of having eight pins, actually has 10. And that's how the um, uh, inverter gets its power is through this plug. It makes it nice and easy. There is a, another cable on here that looks similar to the uh, synchronous serial, and that is uh, but a single wire inside, and that is for our park signal that's going to go to the neutral safety switch of the transmission. And there are some uh, extra um, uh, wires here and a cable with a black cable with a white stripe that we just don't need. I'll cover all that uh, in more detail in my build thread. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the uh, inverter and the inverter uh, wiring harness. I just wanted to make it short and sweet and uh, hopefully it helps you guys out a bit.